Hey guys, Repos here, and welcome to some Red Dead Redemption 2. And this is the online beta, as you can see on the screen. It is released today, so uh, we're gonna check this out. So, do all that nonsense, and let's see how it goes. Mind you, I haven't played uh, Red Dead Redemption in a while, so uh, yeah, I've just been waiting for this to come out. So we, so then I can get some stuff. Uh, me and my buddy are going to be doing some random shit in here. So uh, I'll be looking forward to doing that uh, real soon, hopefully. Okay, there we go. So uh, yeah, hopefully this loads soon, and who knows? It might be a long last time, like GTA's online one was, and hopefully it. It's still a beta, so it's still a work in progress, so hopefully it is relatively the s should be the same as the um, uh, offline version, the single player. So yeah, okay, sir. here we go. Here they are. Tell the marshal this ain't how we do things here. But I'll oblige him this once. Alright, let's see what we got. Who's it gonna be? All right, all right. So here is where you can create a character. We got the male and we got the female. I'm going for a female because I, I'm well, relatively different. So, uh, sue me. Who cares? <laughs> God, I look I'm gonna need ugly as hell. All right, let's see what the customizations are. We got name. All right, so we'll go. Uh, oh my, my name is actually in there. Okay, so we got appearance. Okay, so we got. Ugh, that is terrifying as I'm looking at it right now. So let's see what the default. <laughs> okay, we'll go. We'll go with that, and Taking we'll go with that color. Time. We'll go 24 because I'm 24 very soon. So um, let's go for a athletic build because I'm kind of athletic as it is this is this is all makeup made up so i don't care so let's go with uh a natural look at nose let's go with uh, a smooth you know what, we'll go with that and we'll go with uh, a weak jaw size so uh oh we can actually customize it so that's pretty cool all right you can only customize these ones okay my whistle Let's go five because that seems <laughs> really annoying. Okay, so attributes. This is where you assign points into health, stamina, and dead eyes. So I'm gonna go with stamina, and I'm gonna go with some health as well. And then we'll confirm that as my character. I'm hoping you can change the hairstyle because that'd be pretty dope. Um. Okay. Okay. So it looks like we are in a federal prison. Officer Jackson, move those prisoners. Officer Benton, kitchen's a staff. Officer Townsend, those rocks ain't gonna break themselves. What are you standing there for? Get moving. What are you looking at? This looks like an all female prison. You. You. You with the hammer, and you, you'll do. You need oh, to God. A work detail out near Blackwater. That's on, funny. <laughs> All right, 
So Open we're in gate. prison right now. Come on, Milliken. Okay. Seems very good at the start. Seems very good. Yeah. Oh, okay. I hope I can change my hair color from the barbers, because I know there's a barber in the original game, so I'm hoping there's a barber in the game, because that'd be pretty cool. So I can change my hair to like a rugged look or something like that. I don't know. I tell you what, old Jameson is a wretched, sour old bastard, and no mistake. You like to stay calm in there. You weren't saying nothing. Well, you are now. Shut up. You know, my wife has acquired ideas significantly above her station. She's been reading too many goddamn books. Personally, I'm against education. Of women, I mean. And men, I guess. Unnecessary. Doesn't add much to the world. Education. Good day, oh, gentlemen. Dear. Oh, don't do anything stupid. Nobody gets shot. Act like fools, and the pair of you will be dead within a minute. Now, what are your names? Jenkins and Milliken. Well, Mr. Jenkins and Mr. Milliken, throw your guns to the ground and get on down here. That's it. Very glad to meet you. It's not worth being rash. You boys get paid a salary. You get that salary whether these people escape or not. Your wives presumably want you alive. Let them out. Now, please. Okay. Okay. You all run away. Aside from you. Try to stay out of trouble. This is all a right, strong looks like we've been taken up. Hmm. Use it. Now, Mr. Jenkins and Mr. Milliken. Be so kind as to uh, quickly run away before somebody gets shot entirely unnecessarily. Go on, don't look back. Mr. Went, I believe it was fifty dollars we agreed on. It was. Here's fifty each. Each? Yes. Now get out of here, both of you. My employer and I appreciate your professionalism. All we did was stand there and look tough. And you did it fantastically well. Good day, gentlemen. Now, ma'am, how about you pick up these guns and we move out? My mistress is waiting for us. Come along. All right, so we've just been rescued by this dude over there. Um, okay, let's follow this stranger. All right, so we've got cards, XP, and carbine repeater, and a carbine rifle. Just get on the horse. All right, douchebag. Okay. All right, let's go. I'm following you. It ain't time for you to ride off on your own. Not quite yet. Now come along. Ready? Wonderful. I hope. I mean, I do look stupid with these bunches in my <laughs> in my hair, man. Just give me to a barber, and then I'll be good. All right, so now I'm just gonna hold and uh, ride with this Mr. Horley. I mean, doesn't look like breaking all those rocks has left you entirely broken. So if this is anything like the single-player game, we're gonna have to be hunting animals, which is gonna be pretty cool. Hopefully, there's some legendary animals in the game, in online even, and like that. So. That'd be pretty dope. When you were. Came out fire. Right, so I'm actually going to change the character distance. I like to play we'll as far away, as far as away as I can from my character so I can see everything. I mean, you can play first person, but I'm a third person player, so I like that with these games. So a third person it is for me. Alright, so, right, so this, I guess this, this is like the beginner camp. Just up here. The camp. Oh, this is his camp. Alright, so let's go hitch the horse. Very, very slowly. Come on. Oh, we're going at the same speed, idiot. This way. She's anxious to meet you. 
Right, so here we go. <clears throat> Madam, we're back. Hello. Jessica and the clerk, how do you do? What did you tell her? Nothing, as we discussed. Thank you, Hawley. I do hope we haven't inconvenienced you dreadfully. But seeing as you were due to be hanged in a week, I'm sure you don't object too strongly. I know you're innocent. Well, <laughs> not perhaps exactly innocent, but not guilty of what you were accused. I know you and those who were with you that died were little more than patsies, and that you were set up by one of three men or a woman, possibly by all of them. I can't be sure, but that is all I know so far. And one of these people also made Mrs. Leclerc a widow. And I will avenge my husband's death, so help me God. But I will not avenge it upon them who did not cause it, or caused it unwittingly. <sighs> anyway, I'm sure this is all a touch confusing and melodramatic. Uh, where my manners? Holy, please show our guests to their tent and give them some fresh clothes to put on. Very good, madam. Then serve us both a little refreshment. Certainly, madam. This way. You'll find a change of clothes in there, alongside a few other items you might need, a lasso, a knife, and a lantern, I believe. <laughs> All right, so this is how we uh, change our look. You know, I I, I, gotta, I gotta go with hat because currently the hair choice on this character not not very good. So I'm guessing there is a lot more stuff you can get shirts and outfit wise. So maybe say so excellent water will finalize your starting clothes. Yeah, let's just do that. That looks more comfortable. Holly? Here, madam. Your very good health. I suppose it beats dying, hmm? Mrs. Leclerc's husband was murdered by one of his business partners. And I intend to find out which one. Or rather, I intend for you to find out and kill them. You're the only person I could possibly trust to do whatever it takes. Because you and your accomplices, you're the only other victims of their lies still alive. You see... You walked into the town at approximately the same time my husband was shot in the back, but by another gun, firing different bullets to those you possessed when you were arrested. These bullets. This was their mistake. You were rounded up and sentenced to death, all because you came to town and didn't talk too much and seemed like you were nasty. Anyway, here they are. The people who run Blackwater. Mr. Jeremiah Shaw, banker, real estate speculator, and crook. Mr. Amos Lansing, ranch owner, speculator, and crook. Mrs. Grace Lansing, his wife, society patroness, lover of the arts. Crook, my former best friend. Teddy Brown, her disgraced brother, outlaw, wanted man, and still in contact with them. All I ask of you is your help in finding out quite what happened. Mrs. Leclerc would like to help you get back on your feet. Get back to work. Whatever your work may be, I don't judge. You want to rob? Rob. You want to save innocent folk? Do that as well. But you need me just as much as I need you. I think we all understand each other. I hope we do. Good. I look forward to rewarding you for killing those who made me a widow. My husband was a true believer in this country and in the West. He was killed for greed. Foul greed when there's quite enough for everybody. I don't care what your scruples are as to killing. I will take the full burden of that sin upon my shoulders. Goodbye for now. Then Hawley, go introduce her to nice Mr. Cripps. I think you'll like Cripps well enough. He's long past his prime, of course, but uh, he hasn't gone entirely crazy just yet. And he will help you better than most of his ilk. Cripps, get up. Oh, hello, partner. Hawley. <laughs> this is your new boss. Oh, 
Pleased to meet you, partner. J.B. Cripps at your service. We'll pay to get your camp established. Mrs. LeClerc is a generous benefactor. And, uh, that's where are we headed? So, I'm guessing this is where you, like, can uh, choose where your um, camp is. So, I'm guessing white flag means, I don't know what that means, actually. So, I'm, I'm guessing not a threat, maybe. I'm, uh, white flag normally, normally is that. So, daily fee is charged for a camp maintenance. A small camp can hold between one or four party members. So, four players can be in this camp at once. So, uh, and I'm guessing a large is, yeah, seven, so you first get a small camp. So, we actually get to choose where we want it. So, everyone, I'm guessing, has to be at the Great Plains, oh, so uh, madam, while Chris that's where is we're establishing going. Your camp, perhaps you can go to the station and see the clerk, then head to see Clay Davies. He's a horse thief and uh, not a terribly nice one. Then meet Cripps back at your camp. See you shortly, boss. Good luck. <laughs> okay, so, um, yeah, you know what? I'm going to leave it here right now, guys. So uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this Red Dead Redemption first look online beta. Well, it's not really a first look, but I guess kind of. Anyways, I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this, and I'll see you in the next one. If you like, give a like. Subscribe for more Red Dead Redemption 2 coming your way very soon. Online beta, anyways. And uh, yeah, peace.